All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and today we are on some Need for Speed 2015 about to check out another car and about to do another build. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this one. So today I think I'm going to go ahead, uh, I'm going to sell this thing because I'm not going to use it for anything. So we can also have a little bit of money for us to mess around with. Now we are going to go buy a car that I haven't actually checked out yet and it's going to be this, the 1965 Mustang. So the reason why I wanted to get this Mustang is because it just looks sort of... I don't know, it doesn't look like a race car, like it doesn't look very fast, right? It's it's not supposed to be, I think. In my opinion, this is like more of a cruiser. This version of the Mustang, anyway. Um, but, there's obviously faster versions, there's the Shelby, there's loads of different versions of the Mustang that actually makes this thing look like really badass, but this is just such a... Just a normal looking car. I know it's like an old school car and I know it's a Mustang, so they're really cool looking. First of all, don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't like them. It's just, it doesn't feel, like it doesn't look like it's gonna be very fast. It just looks like an old school car, like a classic. It's pretty, but I don't know what we can do to this thing to make it fast. So, I have no idea what sort of customization we can do to this thing. Apparently, we have a few bits and pieces that we can add to this car, so that's interesting. Hopefully it's not just a U the, the Hoonicorn stuff, because I think that might be some of the parts here. I haven't checked it out yet, but I think there might be. So yeah, that's the RTR Hoonicorn build. I'm not gonna do that because that'll be just pointless. Hood. Oh, okay. We have a couple of different types of hoods that we can add. Um, This actually looks pretty good. This drag style hood. I think we're gonna build this into a drag car. Yeah, sure. Why not? That pretty much just determined. Oh my god, the GT style bumper. Yes, please. Okay, let's just make this thing look a lot more aggressive, because that's definitely what we need here. Um, we got the G GT style splitter, we got the race splitter. Or the street style one. Oh, which one should I put on? This one's kind of tiny looking. Just looks like a little goatee, basically. Um, let's go with the race style one. It looks a little bit more aggressive. Not really sure if we need that for a drag car, but I guess to make it look a little bit nicer, I, I don't really mind. Alright, let's uh, we can tint the windows a little bit as well, why not? Um, let's see. Okay. Okay, we're back on the game again. Let's continue our build. Uh, where did we leave off? Um, let me see here. Let's go check out the mirrors, alright? Let's see what we can do with the mirrors. Um, not really sure. Ooh, we can go the other way. Nah, not really sure if I'm a big fan. Can we just remove the mirrors altogether? Because that'll be kind of, Nah, I guess not. Um, I don't know. I guess these one look kind of cool. Yeah, screw it. I'll put them on. Nah, like, like they just don't look aggressive enough. And I, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, they just don't look aggressive enough. These, I guess, I don't even know, dude. I, I don't even want mirrors on this thing. This is this is a this is a drag car. We, we don't need to look back. If the car isn't in front of us in a drag race, then we're already winning. Um, for the stock fenders, we can give it some some bigger fenders. We can have the uh, the bolted on the bolted ones on. For some reason, it drops the car a little bit as well. So that's the thing. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to do that for the front. Maybe the rear. Let me see how, it, how that looks. Yeah, that doesn't look that bad, actually. Yeah, that, do, that doesn't look too bad. I'm not going to... Should I do... Yeah, fuck it. I'll do it for the front as well. It, it just lo looks a little bit odd. Only having the, the rear out like that. Mm, okay. So the back needs to be squatted out... Squatted down a little bit more. If we're gonna turn this into a track, I will make it look proper. Uh, so look here, we got the Hoonicorn boot lid, which doesn't really change, it's just fully detachable then. Wing. We got the drag wing, which I think is the- oh, perfect! Hell yeah! That is some proper wingage right there. Alright, so if you go into the rear bumper... Let's have a look here, we got the shave bumper, so... Pretty much... Okay, I see. I see the difference. This one just doesn't have a rear bumper at all. This gives you the LEDs. I think we're gonna go with this, the race style one, because it just removes the rear bumper altogether. Um, can we just remove the front splitter altogether? No, I don't think we can actually. Nah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Um, let's have a look. What else can we actually do to this thing? Um, Exhaust, exhaust is another thing, and diffuser, diffuser. Uh, maybe we'll go with something like this. It's nice and nice and uh, 
That's a normal looking. This just looks weird because it looks like a tiny little pipe that just goes into a massive pipe. Honestly, I'm kind of digging these. These twin straight pipes because they just look like properly raw. These just look absolutely massive and I'm not going to go for those. These just look... They look proper. Or... Eh. See, I'm not into like the massive, massive... Or these ones. These ones actually look pretty good. The curved ones. On this car specifically, they actually look pretty good. Um, okay, I think we're gonna go with the, the the twin pipes. Yeah, twin straight pipes. They just stick out a little bit too much, but I like that. All right, for rims, let's have a look here. I think we should go for something. I I have no idea honestly. <laughs> what wheels can we go for for this car? I mean, I want I I sort of want the front rims and the rear rims to be different in size, and also in like just the actual rim itself. Like I just want them to be different. Um. Like I'm, I'm trying to trying to figure out like what sort of rims. I obviously we want loads of tire because we're turning this into a drag car. So the more tire, the better. Something like this. These work, Master. Oh my God, these actually look very, very good. Um, for the rear wheels as well, it has a ton of dish or it has yeah, it has a ton of a uh, dish. So basically, it should technically make the rear wheels pretty wide. Let's have a look at what they actually look like. Yeah, <laughs> those are some big fat wheels on the back. Um, I kind of like that. All right, so tires, like I said, um, I'm kind of happy with the big chunky, chunky tires. Um, I'm not really sure what can we put on it. Of course, we're not gonna do stretched. Uh, I think I'll just put Need for Speed on them for now. Rims are fine. I, I honestly really like those calipers. Uh, apparently, they're all restricted. And brake discs. Oh yeah, because I didn't have the brake discs on. That's why the calipers are restricted. Um, Cross drilled, that's fine. And then calipers, we'll put something there. Wow, you can't even see those. We put some endless ones. Why not? And uh, of course, let's go to the front. Front, we should want different wheels. Um, so change rim. All right, so I found these rims here, and I'm just sort of contemplating on the tire size. I think the tire size is fine. Just one off the end. So, the rear wheels should look very, very chunky and beefy. Yep, that looks good. And then, of course, the front wheels look something like that. I didn't want a lot of dish in the front wheels either, so I honestly think that that looks pretty good. So now, with that set, uh, the right height is fine. Rake, I'm going to shift this a little bit more to the rear, like so. Uh, track width at the front is fine. Track width at the rear. You can bring this out a little bit, like so. Camera in the front, uh, maybe a little bit. The rear, obviously none. Let's see. It's not really squatted down too much. Uh, but it definitely looks... It definitely looks like a main car. Now we just need to find a decent... A decent uh, paint job for this thing. As well as, of course, adding a bunch of power to it. So let's have a look and see what sort of designs people have come up with that would actually end up looking... This is easily... This is easily chiselable right now for me. I honestly really love that color combo. Alright, the blue and white. Kind of original. Alright, looking at all of them, I had to come back to this one. Honestly, it's the best looking one. It just looks so, so good. Whoever made this. Big props to you, dude. It looks amazing. Alright, let's have a look around real quick. At what this thing looks like. Oh, that looks great. That paint job looks amazing. And I think the car actually looks pretty fucking good too. Oh, I love the rust on it. It looks badass. And the windscreen as well, look at that. Yeah, that's epic. That looks really fucking good. Alright, now power-wise, let's go ahead and max this thing out if we can. I'm pretty sure we can max this thing out with 100 grand. Um, we'll see. We'll see, of course. So, we're gonna need to get, obviously, as much horsepower as we possibly can out of this thing. So, for the best acceleration, usually the D. The D exhaust is, or the D turbo is the best. Um, let's just keep adding parts onto this more and more. We're gonna add the best tires as well. Oh my god, the engine block is gonna take up all my money. So 20 grand, 23 grand, 15 grand. I don't think we'll be able to buy everything. 8 grand for this. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to buy any everything for this. Holy shit, how powerful can we actually get this thing to be? 1,200 horsepower. What? We can get this thing to 1,200 horse. I did not realize that we can do that. One, two, three, seven. 
in horsepower. Holy crap. All right, well, I'll be right back after I get some more money. All right, guys, I'm back with a little bit of money. So let's see where we left off and purchase everything else, which was the exhaust. Let's buy that. Well, right, one, two, three. What? We're about to get... Oh, uh, Weren't we about to get 1,237 horsepower? Dude, am I... I may be losing my mind. I thought we were gonna get 1,237 horsepower. Why is it 1,235 now? Honestly, it could be because I'm losing my mind. Okay, anyway, let's just put on all the parts that we need to. We definitely have enough money now. <laughs> 1,235 horsepower, that's not, still not... That's still not that bad. <laughs> Alright, pretty much add everything. I can, handbrake is not gonna do shit anyway for drag racing. Sway bars, again. Just leave it there. Um, now, let's move on to the handling. So this is going to be obviously moved up to grip as much as possible because we're gonna drive in a straight line. And also, we're gonna obviously turn really, really quick as well. Um, so let's have a look here. Front tire pressure less, rear tire pressure more. Steering response, let's move this up to kind of fast. Uh, steering range now, that's perfectly fine, I don't really mind that. Actually, wait, we'll move this as well a little bit. Uh, brake drift assist, all drift stability on, launch control on, they've open. Uh, downforce more. Do we actually want more downforce? Because I can, eh, yeah, actually. Is, uh, we need, we need the... Uh, we need a little bit of downforce in the rear to actually get grip, but obviously not in the front. Anyway, that's fine. Tire, traction more, obviously. Spring stiffness, let's bring this to soft. Sway bars again, soft. Uh, nitrous, we bring this up towards power a little bit more. Manual gears on. And we are pretty much good to go. This is what we have here. This Mustang, 1965 Mustang that we decided to turn into some whatever, which we decided to turn into this like rat style drag car thing. So I don't know what this thing actually turned out to be, but we're going to be using it for drag racing as a ton of horsepower, uh, literally. So let's go ahead, take it out and see what it's like. We're going to take it, of course, to the to the one that we pretty much have our, uh, our Beck Customs tried to beat uh, previously when we were doing the... Uh, the video where I showed you guys pretty much the best way to get money, which I'll show you guys now again. Um, but I was using the back customs because that's the fastest accelerating car in the game at the moment. Let's see though. Let's see if I can actually beat my time. It's around like 27 point like 4 maybe? 27.3? Maybe it's a little bit faster. I can't remember exactly. But uh, the drag is right here. It's called Speed Tunnel. Bring your car over here. Let's see what this thing can do. If I can actually beat the back customs in... In this drag race, that'd be kind of interesting because that'll obviously not be the best car, but it will be the best accelerating car. So you definitely will be able to get ahead of everybody else very quickly. But I'm ready for this. A boosted Mustang, 1,200 horsepower. This is uh, this is looking pretty. Who are we going up against? Nobody. The person's underneath the bridge that we're going up against. Okay then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go, burnout wiener. Okay, I'll leave it to good. I'll take good. Alright, I'm ready, come on. Oh, it's definitely not turning as fast as the most- oh, as the back customs. Okay, we definitely need to do something about the steering. We have to do something about the steering. Seven gears, hell yeah. Oh god, it's not turning fast enough. We're maxing this out. Okay, 20, what was it? 29 seconds. All right, all right, I see you. All right, so yeah, we definitely need to have... We need to have better steering response. So I think I'm gonna bring that up a bit and also the steering range. We're gonna bring that up to... Um, we're gonna bring that uh, actually down, I think, because if we bring it up, it's like narrow. So let's go ahead and do that. Hop into the garage again, real quick, and we'll uh, mess around with the tune, and we'll take it out again. Hopefully, we can get this thing to steer nice and quickly as well when we're driving that fast, because the the back customs is obviously like super super flat on the ground. It steers really quick around corners because it's technically made to be like an F1 car, so it's supposed to handle 
very very well so this is what we're gonna have to do with this since we are turning this into a drift car or into a drag car and that little event there isn't just completely straight so we still need a little bit of a little bit of proper steering to be able to get this thing around that event um nice and quickly i don't know what the hell happened with the person who spawned him underneath the bridge um the person we were going up against so go to the handling tuning let's have a look here steering response is fine steering range let's bring that up or down to wide instead of narrow and i think i'm fine with that that's pretty much the only thing that i wanted to change because uh when we were like fully turning to one direction you guys saw how much the car was actually turning so that isn't good so let's go ahead give this another shot and see what it's like all right mustang let's do this thing is this person still gonna be underneath the bridge now? <laughs> Alright, are we actually going up against someone? Let's see. We are not. This person's still under the bridge. <laughs> you guys can probably hear him. And you can see him on the mini map, he's just driving around now. Alright. Oh no, we overcooked it. Holy shit, this is fast. Oh, it's still not as good. It's still not as good as the... Uh, see how slow it's turning? Oh, we're topped off 7 gear. Did I finish? Oh, we did finish. What was it? 28.18 seconds. I'll take that. That's pretty goddamn quick. That is, that is not even a full second off the, uh, off the thing. Oh wow, off the Beck Customs. Alright, alright, I see you. Alright, so I think that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. That is our Mustang. Honestly, it turned out very, very cool. This is our 1965 Mustang that we turned into a dry car. It actually is not that bad. It kind of sucks at turning. That's pretty much it. Uh, since this isn't like a pure straight on drag race, but... Compared to the back customs, kind of sucks at turning, but overall, it's not that bad. We managed to get in 27 seconds, which is pretty cool. So that's going to be it. Thank you guys very much for watching again, and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.